From Harold Washington to Harold's Chicken and everything in between and beyond, Sociology is the exploration of Chicago culture, history, legends, stories, and fiction through a myriad of discussions with Chicagoans themselves. What's up, everybody? It's Quiz Taylor back again with another episode of Sociology. This is episode 64. Now, if you're listening to this podcast on any audio-specific platform, whether it's Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, etc., I strongly encourage you to go back and listen to this episode on YouTube because it's going to be very visual. Because about a month ago, a friend of mine was in town on business, and he asked me if I knew about the art district in Chicago. And I started telling him about different places where they can go find different street art and murals, but it really dawned on me. I know where some of them are, but I can't really tell you the locations. I can't tell you the streets. You know what I'm saying? So it, I took the matters into my own hands to spend an entire day dedicated to driving around the city, north side, west side, and south side, depicting and documenting different murals as well as their locations. So this is intro to Street Art 101. Now, it's very important to understand that the murals depicted in this episode are clearly not the only murals. In fact, it's more murals that I wanted to include in this episode, but I just didn't have time to get to them. But understand, Chicago is a city full of art, full of culture, full of vibrancy, and there are countless murals in this city. This is simply just an intro to the whole world. So without further ado, let's get into it. Intro to Street Art 101, Sociology, Episode 64. At 2226 North Milwaukee in the Logan Square neighborhood, you have the greetings from Chicago mural. The word Chicago is designed in 3D block letters, which reminds me of a Microsoft Word art in the 90s. And inside each letter, you have iconic locations, buildings, and logos that represent the city of Chicago. To the right, you have a worker in a white hard hat that depicts the blue-collar, hard-working nature of Chicagoans, and it's all plastered on a powdery blue iconic Chicago background. And it's right next to the Chicago L station. It doesn't get more Chicagoan than that. At 1871 North Damon in the Wicker Park neighborhood, you have a black boy's face that shows deep pain and distress. Behind him, you have yellow, black, and red coloring along with the words, no justice, no peace, and stop the violence. It's clear that this mural was created to depict the emotional effect that it has on black Americans as a result of police brutality against black Americans in this city and in this country. Also in the Wicker Park neighborhood at 1651 West North Avenue, you have the west side at 2746 West Madison, you have the Fred Hampton mural. At the top it says, I am a revolutionary, one of his most iconic phrases. At the bottom it says, free them all. And then it shows Fred Hampton along with other prominent members of the Black Panther Party of that era. The colors are faintly blue, gray, along with some black and white. At 2500 West Polk Street in the East Garfield Park neighborhood, you have an entire alleyway of garages with murals. Different color schemes, different inspiration, different designs, very diverse artistry here. Something you definitely have to see if you are in Chicago, whether you're a tourist or a resident. At West 18th Street in the Pilsen neighborhood, you have an entire block full of murals on the side of the railroad. What stood out to me the most was Leo Acosta, as well as a mural depicting how war and capitalism ultimately will enslave and destroy the entire world. At 6049 South Ashland, you have the We Are Good in Inglewood mural that shows black Americans, residents of Inglewood, living their lives and being joyful. The Auburn Gresham mural is very iconic at the metro station on 87th and Vincennes. The Auburn Gresham name is at the top in purple lettering. And then on east side, you have different residents of Auburn Gresham living their lives, grocery shopping, playing jazz and playing around and just having a good time and living their lives. In the Pullman neighborhood at 111th and Cottage Grove, you have the Pullman murals under the Vidoc. You have President Obama. You have the Pullman National Monument Museum. And you have the Pullman Porters, along with different Pullman workers who made the iconic train cars that revolutionized travel around the country in the 1800s and the early 1900s. On the corner of 79th and Evans in the Chatham neighborhood, you have the Chatham murals along with Common, which is a picture, but it was designed and painted along the brick walls. Also in Chatham at 79th and King Drive, you have to protect your future in red, blue, and white coloring to promote the vaccine against COVID-19. In Bronzeville at 39th and King Drive, you have murals that's been around as long as I can remember as a little boy. On one side, you got President Obama, you have Martin Luther King, you have I Have a Dream, you have a mosaic of coloring and different artistry. On the other side, you have a golden Indian bronze statue, and to the right and to the left, you have a multitude of colors. Very beautiful, very inspirational. On 43rd and Calumet, also in Bronzeville, you have the Bronzeville Blooms, which shows two cactuses, which depicts small black American children with a sun and different flowers. Literally, to the true to the nature of the mural, Bronzeville is bloom 
women with the youth and into greater futures. Under the Vidoc at Marquette Road and Dorchester Avenue in a Woodlawn neighborhood, you have a multitude of murals there as well. Very vibrant colors. You have green, you have blue, you have red, you have women with telescopes, children sitting under the trees reading books, you have different jazz singers with the light that's falling fresh upon the mural that's giving it an extra pop. You have a train car, you have runners, you have athletes. It's very eye-catching. At 55th and Michigan in the Washington Park neighborhood, you have Keep Loving Each Other, which stands out boldly as an inspiration to literally keep loving each other. Now at 39th and Michigan in Bronzeville, these aren't murals per se, but they're archival photographs of Bronzeville residents that used to live in the neighborhood in the early 1900s. And they're plastered against the brick wall, which was an old armory and storage unit for the National Guard. These photographs are always iconic and they always resonate with me every single time I see them, whether it's at this intersection section or on the internet. In the West Loop area, Madison and Green, you have Oprah in black and white plastered against blue, red, yellow, and white backgrounds that shows the vibrancy of the West Loop area. At 91st and Stony Island in the Calumet Heights neighborhood, you have another mural plastered aside a daycare with a lot of women with afros and inside the afros, inside their minds shows the skies and shows a whole new world outside of Chicago and the neighborhood. I will assume this is depicting the inspiration to go beyond the blocks that you grew up in and see the world and realize that it's more to Chicago and it's more to Illinois than what we see. Pretty dope, pretty inspirational street art if I say so myself. Now. I do know who designed some of these murals, but some other murals in this episode, I still don't know who the artists are. So instead of doing half work, I'm still doing research on finding an artist for all of these murals so I can release that list all at one time. But if you like this podcast, if you like this episode, I hope it encouraged you to go out and find some murals that I didn't include in this episode, to find some murals that I didn't know about in this episode. Whether you're a Chicagoan or a visitor and a tourist, I encourage you to check all of these out at some point in time. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to pass it on to a friend who may like it as well. If you enjoyed this podcast, whatever platform you're listening to it on right now, whether it be Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, etc., leave a five-star review and a comment. Let us know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to our sister podcast, Mogul Motivation, from True Stories Media.